Uh, my dear friends, uh, Guten Morgen or Guten Tag. Yesterday we, I told you how to greet people when you see them. Even though now it is 11 o'clock, you can very well say Guten Morgen, good morning. Or you can say Guten Tag, good day, good day. Or uh, to be more uh, South German and Austrian usage, you can use Gruß Gott, praise be to God, Gruß Gott. So Gruß Gott to you all. Yesterday we spoke about the parts of speech, parts of speech to a given text. There are different types of words different types of words with different functions. So the grammarians have categorized them, categorized them and said there are eight type of words in a language, in, a, in any language. Eight type of words, eight categories of words which is known as the eight parts of speech, parts of language. They are, as we have seen, the noun, the verb, then the pronoun, then the adjective, then the adverb, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjunction. So then you may add also the numbers, cardinals and ordinals. Cardinals are one, two, three, four, etc. Ordinals are first, second, third, fourth, etc. That you can also add to this eight, then altogether there would be ten. So all the words of a language, whether will fit in into these uh, eight uh, or ten categories, that is definite. There would be no word outside this word. And we were just started to talk about nouns. Nouns. So noun, we said to fix the meaning of a noun in a sentence or in a text, you need to know three things. Three things. One is gender, second is number, third is case. Case is vipakti in, uh, in uh, in Sanskrit or in Malayalam, we call it vipakti, case. Uh, these three things you should know to fix the meaning of a noun. We are talking about gender. So nouns, the first is gender. Gender. We, there are a lot of talk about gender uh, right now. Also before that, before, you know, the feminist movement, the gender justice, the gender equality, the gender crime, etc. Especially the feminist movement, which is not now very strong as it used to be. They always uh, fought against the gender injustice in the society. It should not have been such a thing because God has created man and woman equal. They are equal. You know, Mahatma Gandhi has said, as human beings, as human beings, we are all equals. There is no difference in the caste, creed, or uh, gender, or age. All are equal. But by God's providence, our uh, nature is different. Our uh, intellectual capacities is different. Our God-given talents are different. That is there. Each one, everybody is not intelligent as, as Einstein. Or everybody is not talented as Michelangelo. So there are differences in talents intellectual capacities, etc. But as human beings, we are all equal. Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi said, if you think 
that you are superior to somebody that is a lie, that is falsehood. If you think that you are inferior to somebody, that is also a lie, that is also falsehood. So about gender justice, we don't worry about much, but here it is grammar. Gender, there are three genders, masculine, feminine, and neutral. So, in German language, these genders are designated and identified by the definite article. This is very special for German. In English, the definite article is the, which you use indiscriminately. The house, the houses, the tree, the, uh, the dog, the cow, everywhere the is used uh, indiscriminately and universally, but not in German. Each word each word belongs to either maxim these categories, uh, masculine, feminine, or neutral. And these three genders have three definite articles. So you have to learn, I said yesterday, learn always the nouns of the German language with the definite articles. Without that, there is no, that is, that you have to learn like this. The definite articles are der, der, da, die, das, der, die, das. So masculine, der, feminine, die, uh, neuter, das. And the plural, plural is always die. that is uh, feminine, but also is plural. This is nominative case. This is uh, declined. This is declined, that we will learn later. But right now, learn the nouns with the definite articles. We write down some example. So there are how to know that a you know, particular noun is masculine, feminine, or neuter. There are some nouns which are obviously, obviously masculine, feminine, or neuter. For example, man. Man is masculine. Or woman. Woman is feminine, that is obvious. Or steer, ox. That is masculine, or cow, that is feminine. So there are some, many nouns which are obviously, clearly, evidently uh, belongs to a definite uh, particular, particular gender. But there are lot of, lot of nouns which do not have this, uh, this uh, obvious, obvious character. Lot of lot of nouns. How to know the gender? That is the only way is by usage and by experience. There is no other way. For example, for example, so obvious things are obvious. For example, Dharman. Man is a man, but it is with two N, two N. Defrau, woman. Incidentally, child is a neuter, das Kind, das Kind. Kind is a uh, child that is neutral. Kindergarten, you must have heard kindergarten. Because that is a German word. Kind is singular. Its plural is kinder, kinder. 
പ്ലോറലിസ് കിൻഡർ ഗാർഡൻ മീൻസ് ഗാർഡൻ സോ കിൻഡർ ഗാർഡൻ മീൻസ് ഗാർഡൻ ഓഫ് ദി ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഗാർഡൻ ഓഫ് ദി ചിൽഡ്രൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഒബിയസ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ദി ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഡർസ്റ്റിയർ Stear means ox or bullock. Deco. Co is cow. This is also obvious. But there are lot of lot of nouns which do not fix in. Do not have this type of. type of uh, obviousity of, of evidence evidently they are not uh, evidently belongs to particular noun particular gender for example the the table the table is masculine so we don't know why it is masculine it is like that you know the language comes first the grammarians comes after that so language is spoken by the people so sanskrit any other language they are spoken by the people they use particular way and then the grammarians come and they fix the rules fix the rules as the people talk speak about the language they don't invent anything they just categorize the common usage of the language and they fix the rules now after that if you go away from the rules that is a mistake so language comes first grammarians and the systematizers comes later so why tish is masculine we don't know we don't know then the tour tish means table the tour tour is door door is feminine door is feminine the tish the tour so as i said all this learn the verb nouns with the with the article das fenster the window window is happens to be neuter so tish the tish that is masculine the tour tour there is umlaut so it is not tour it is tour umlaut that the tour which is the door and that is feminine das fenster that is window that is uh, neuter or der baum baum is tree that is masculine but the flower is feminine bloom is a flower that is feminine and the leaf leaf of a tree that is neuter black leaf of a tree even leaf of a book is also black so that is uh, neuter why it is so no answer that is the usage of the people and the grammarian said this is it you cannot make you cannot just say deblat deblat that is wrong because it is neuter der baum die blume das blatt the we need to also learn this is singular all all this nouns are singular 
it's uh, there is plural that is gender number n number comes later so this is now we are talking about gender so now this much now we will conjugate and decline these things later so Now, about the number, then we can say number. So this is gender in general. Remember that gender is designated by the three definite articles. Masculine is der, feminine is d, and neuter is does. The plural is D, like uh, feminine. This is nominative case. It has all the other cases also. Mm. The second is number. Number, there is two. There are two, singular and plural. That is clear. Singular and plural. I said you should learn always the noun with the definite articles. But it is also good that you learn the nouns with the plural also, the plural, the plural form. Plural is uh, very often very different different from the singular. We have only two, in, only in Sanskrit language. I don't know whether some Semitic language has, has three numbers. Sanskrit has three numbers, three numbers. Singular, then dual, dual. For two, you have to use particular form, and then plural. For example, balaha, singular. Balau, two boys. Balau, two boys. Balaha is one boy. Balau is two boy. Balaha, that is plural, boys. So only in Sanskrit and some other Semitic languages, there are three numbers, not only singular and plural, for dual, two, they use particular form. So in, in German, Singular. So we take down some nouns with the definite article and with the plural. Some nouns so that your vocabulary increases. We said der Baum. What is the plural? Plural of der is D. So we, and plural of Baum is Boim with the uh, umlaut. Boim, we pronounce it as Boim, tree. Der Baum, the Boim. Then the Vater, Father. And its plural is the fater, fater, again with umlaut. Fathers, father, father and mother. That is, these are masculine. They're mond. The mond. Moon. Moon. The blue, then these are masculine.
feminine diploma, the Baum diploma. Pluralis diploma. Blue and it is flower. Flower. The bloomer, the bloomer. So in feminine article is D. Plural article is also D. D. You don't say die, it is D. There, D does. Then the motor, father, the motor. And its plural is the muter with umlaut. Like a father, mother has also umlaut. Muter, mother. The mond is masculine, but the son is feminine, incidentally. Son. The son. That is son. That is uh, feminine. Then Nyota, we remain by the trees, baum, bloomer, thus blood, leaf, the bladder, the bladder. This is with umlaut, and it is pronounced as bladder, bladder. Leaf that is nyota darfata daskin kin the child that is nyota the kinder plural is kinder and it is child. So kindergarten, kindergarten means garden of the children, garden of the children. Thus kind, the moon. The stern, the stern. The das Buch. So, the, the if you want go with the heavenly bodies, das Tern. That is Stern. That is uh, star. This is Nyota. So these are some of the nouns, examples. Darbaum, the boima. That umlaut is pronounced as boima, boima. Darfata, the feta. Umlaut is pronounced as feta. Darmond, that is moon, moon, the monda. The bloomer, feminine, the blue man, plural is blue man. The motta, the motta, plural is the muter, muter, mothers, plural. The son, that is son, and its plural is son, man, sons. And neuter is thus blood, the leaf of a tree, or also a book. Thus blood, the bladder, 
blatter pronounce it as blatter then das kind die kinder kinder das stern you know s t and s t and s p they come it has a sh sound sh stern stern like that s p spielen to play so das blatt the blätter das kind die kinder das ter die sternen so i said you have to learn all the nouns with the definite articles but it is also useful and good that you learn the nouns with the plural with the plural so der baum die bäume etc now i give you two rules which are definitely important one is so i wipe it out one is all the nouns in german language are written in capital letter that is a peculiar rule of the german language no other language i don't think that the nouns should be always written in capital wherever it comes in the middle of sentence beginning of sentence end of the sentence if it is noun write it in capital letter the first letter should be in capital you know so one rule number one capital now nouns always write the nouns in capital no other language has this particular rule i don't I, as far as i know then secondly der de das is the definite articles but it has a short form short form is de and e and s the short form is d and s yeah so instead of writing der baum you can write bau so it stands for der r stands for der instead of writing die blume you can write d for that d bloom of instead of writing das blatt you can write simply s blatt then the plural how about the plural also there is a short form this is the short form of of definite article short form of definite articles there is simply r or in german they call it r and uh, d is uh, feminine so you write simply e that stands for d feminine das is neuter you write simply s 
You need not write the entire thing. S that stands for neuter das. And about plural also. Plural also, you have short forms. Short forms means that also is useful to know. For example, der Baum. So der stand, R stands for der. Plural is, you don't write the entire thing. That means the first vowel has umlaut. It is boima. Hope you follow it. So there is a short form for definite articles. Der is R. And when you write plural, you do not write the entire word. You write uh, the changes, that changes that take place. So this dot means the first vowel has umlaut, boima, or the bloomen. You write simply N here. Bloomen. Flower. So you don't write the entire word for the plural form. You write, you take the stem, the stem of the word and add to it the additional thing, whatever is, uh, whatever is, deno is to needed for to denote a plural noun. So, de bloom, this is short form for de, and bloomen, short, the plural is bloomen, bloomen, or that is leaf, the plural is blatter. You add the additional thing, blatter. Hope you follow it. So, der Baum, die Bäume, die Bäume. Die Blume, die Blume. Das Blatt, die Blätter. So, you can write plural like this. I write down some more words. It might be uh, we always we said about uh, tish, etc. Dar tish, the tish. You add E to that, tish. Is table. So this is biomer uh, tree, flower, leaf. And this is a table. So, der Tisch, die Tische, you add E to the stem or D. Tür, die Türen, you add EN to the stem, Türen. That is door. Or fenster. F 
Fenster, there is no plural, also the same. So you simply uh, give a, a hyphen there. That is Fenster. A plural and singular are the same. There is no difference. So Fenster means window. We write down some more words for your vocabulary. Darfata. So, fata is masculine, so R. Fata. The plural is defeater. Only umlaut on the A. Defeater. Father. So plural is, you add only umlaut, no other letter. It is fatal. Demota. Here again, only the umlaut on the vowel. You know, umlaut is added three vowels. Remember that. A, O, and U. U. A, O. O has also umlaut and U. Only these three vowels has umlaut. Dimuta. Mother. Das Kind. Plural is Kinder, the Kinder. So this you should actually put it in bracket because by this alone you understand what is the plural, child. Then. Der Mann. Der Mann. Mann is man. Or two N. And its plural is manner. So A has some loud. The manner. That is man. Or the Frau. Frau is Frau one. Plural is Frau one. The Frau one. Woman. The her, heran, heran is Mister, but it is also Lord. Her Jesus Christus, her Jesus Christus, you know. Jesus, you pronounce ya, because J is always ya in German. Jesus Christus. Herr Jesus Christus, Lord Jesus Christ. So Herr, Herran, the Herran. As I said, this is not necessary because you have already the plural here, but it is for your Better understanding that I write in brackets the plur entire plural form, the her.
Then, does Bóg debut her? So, the U, U, as umlaut, debut her. Uh, this book or the Bleistift 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 is pencil plural is Bleistift That is pencil. So, uh, you may take down some more nouns for your vocabulary and also to learn the categories of plural forms. Sometimes it is with umlaut sometimes ends in E-N. Der Name. Name. Namen. Name. I don't write the plural to me. Der Name, die Namen. Name or das Jahr, Jahr, Jahren, Jahr, Jahren, das ist mass, mass, neuter, Jahren. But the Woche, Wochen. You add only N. It's weak. The tag. The tag. The. The Nacht. Gute Nacht. Nacht is. Uh, Night, Nächte, it has uh, umlaut on the A, but also you add a E at the end. That is night. Then Monate. Monate is feminine, no, masculine. Monate, the Monate. Month. So these are the Woche Tag, then the Stunde, Stunde, Hour. As I said, ST and SP has a SH sound, Stunde, 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 Hour. Sekunde, Sekunden. No. Excuse me. Sekund is with the second. So these are some more nouns. Monate, Wochen, Frauen, Kinder. Das Buch, Bücher have we, we have already seen. So some more nouns just for your vocabulary. So that is number. 
So, gender, masculine, feminine, neuter, and it's uh, so all the nouns belongs to that. As I said, there are some nouns obviously belongs to particular genders like uh, man, woman, steer, cow, etc. They are by the word itself, you know the gender. The other eyes are indiscriminate. You have to learn it by only by experience and by time. It is there is no there are some rules that you will learn later. Especially feminine nouns, there are some rules, some categories. Some where sending like this are always feminine, where sending in like this are always feminine. There are some that is particularly for feminine nouns that we will learn later. So gender number, number singular and plural. So gender is masculine, feminine and neutral. So all the nouns belongs to that category. As I said, the, this is very indiscriminate. Why tissue is masculine? There is no answer. Why window is neuter, we don't know. Why window door is feminine? We don't know because as I said, the grammar and grammarians come later. The language was used by the people and the grammarians did not want to disturb the usage of the people. They said this is the rule, this is how the people use it. Now if you make mistake from now on, that would be a mistake. So, Panini wrote the grammar, Sanskrit grammar, but Sanskrit existed much before him. Sanskrit, the language existed much before him. There is one language which uh, first the grammar came and then language. That is Esperanto. Esperanto. Esperanto is a man-created language. People, some scholars came together and said, we, this, uh, all the languages have so many exceptions, especially n verbs, so many exceptions. So we create a language with simple rules. So they said all the nouns ending in R are masculine. So they created words, created words for all the mas well, for uh, daily usage. Then they said all the nouns ending in E are feminine. And, but this language did not survive. This is known as Esperanto. One of our professors, Father Suryakelias Kanichai, he tried to learn this language, but it is never, it never survived. There are only ten rules, I think, ten rules. I said in Sanskrit there are four thousand rules. Four thousand rules. So Esperanto is a created language which did not survive because it did, didn't have the backing of the people. Unless people speak it only to a few scholars, what is the use? So this is it. I think together today we will stop. Tomorrow we will learn the cases. Okay.